Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games and talk about game design. Today, we're playing Oxenfree. Still, but... Till the end. Till the end. Riding this crazy ghost train. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, ready? Let's, make... let's do this thing. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. You got, you know, you went bad again. I was just possessed. We should really, we should get this done now. I saw, I saw Michael again. I just... <sighs> I'm sorry. When I'm there, I just get sucked into it like nothing happened. Come on. It's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down. Just don't say anything to them, okay? This is... It's just like a trial period. Like buying a used car that I can already tell is missing a lot. Say anything about what? What are you guys talking about? Are they dating? We're dating. We're dating. <laughs> Nona and I, we're gonna date. <laughs> Dude, what did they just say? What? They asked. Right? You asked? Mazel tov on the happy couple. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. No, stop. <laughs> it's one day at the Revival Theater. We're just going to sit quietly in the dark and watch a documentary on <laughs> Bosnian genocide. <laughs> Romantic. Sounds like a great night to oh, me. Mm -hmm. Riviera is a great movie house. And the ushers can't tell where you're putting your hands if you sit in row G, by the way. <laughs> Please don't tell them that. <laughs> Anyways, I know it's stupid to be planning or whatever for this, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's not that insignificant or whatever. Whatever. Truly the language of love. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean. Well, I'm taking full credit for this <laughs> blossoming something. Well, you shouldn't, but whatever. <laughs> I, I want to get this off my chest. Just something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghosts or whatever, but you've been acting like not you. Ren. No. I just, I well, don't... Well, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what else to say, really. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm even saying this now. This is stupid, but can we, like, take a picture? Why? I don't know. In case things go bad and... Yeah, let's do it. We're on a beach. Swear kind of. if there are ghosts There's in the background. Or if we all have glowing eyes. All we're right, gonna be mad. Here. Alex, get in here. You're not getting out of it. <laughs> All right. Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. That sounds like endgame talk to me. That's obligatory like, are you sure you're ready to go? Like, do any last minute shit you want to get done. I, I, I really like that, though. I You know, I always get really pissed off at games that don't we'll have that kind of message. Oh, I know. Oh. Yeah, this does feel very end game. Yay, yay. Oof. Okay. I uh, all right. <laughs> you have to get hugged. Now you're my best friend's girlfriend, so. Right. I am coming with you, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should have been hugged, guys. <laughs> Want to do this thing? <sighs> all right, let's do this. Oh man, this is stressful. And a bomb shelter. Bow, bow, bow. Yay! Oh. oh! You guys can't die! Oh, Alex looks so sad. Yep. I guess they all look pretty sad, but. Those cuties. Listen, Alex, I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is, I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting worse, actually. Just hang in there, Jonas, okay? I know you feel like a garbage snowman right now, but we're almost done. <laughs> a garbage hey, what do you call snowman. A man who's short of time. Huh? Have you heard this one? Is this a joke? Yeah, it's a... What do you call a man that's short of time? Tim. You call him Tim. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ha ha ha. Yes, <laughs> Oh, interesting. Yeah, spooky, right? The beds? Thinking they would have slept here while the rest of us burned? Yeah, but do you think it would even have worked? Like, if if Yugoslavia or whoever dropped an A-bomb on their heads, I don't know if this place would have held up. No, I think it would have worked. There's enough tons of concrete here to keep them from mutinying out, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Bomb shelters it's, are incredibly complex. It's like wrong to see one of these when we're not in a... a Time loop, yes, right? that's yeah. what I was thinking too. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that. Too bad that we can't like 
crank it. You I know? know. I was ex hoping we could. Yeah, I thought we might learn Wait, something about it. Oh, Are the others not coming down with us? Thing. I think they're presumably down oh. here with us. It is a little weird remember. that they're not here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Unless it was like whoever you hugged last was who was coming down with you. I don't know. His line was, I'm coming with you, but the others didn't say that. So maybe they weren't coming down. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe they're waiting for the boat or something. I don't know. Like, why wouldn't they come down with you, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I must have missed that. So, I guess that could be a thing where it's like, whoever comes down with you is the one that you built the strongest relationship with thus far. Which I don't know how you would build that relationship with Nona. Um, but, yeah, no, that's, that's interesting. Oh, what was I going to say? Uh, I wonder... There we go. Nice. Wait, before... Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out, just get to the boat. Do whatever you have to. Don't talk like that, all right? Nothing's going to happen. There's no way this ends like that. We won't let it. I'm not asking. I'm telling. Look, dream a little dream, buddy. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to leave you. Now, let's just get this door open, do what we gotta, and get home. I lost one brother already. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Not losing you. Know what? There's, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific tune be all over the place? I have to know what's going okay, on. Okay, if it'll make you feel better, we'll investigate the case of Jonas's mom's weird song before we save our lives. Sounds perfect. <laughs> it's like breaking or something. Can you... Can you fix it? I mean... Uh, here we go. It's... It sounds like it's her. Like a recording, or it's just... It's my mom. That's her voice in the static. You can hear that, right? I mean, I know you don't know what she sounded like, but... You can hear that. The voice, right? Jonas, I, I think we should go. Really. Wait, wait, wait. Is it possible? Do you, th do you think it's possible? I mean, we've been, like, talking with ghosts the entire night. Do you think it's... Like it could be... Right? I, Jonas, I'm sorry, but I, I really don't think that's her. Like, really her. Well, how would you know? And I mean, you don't know that for yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm getting worried. I think I'm we should go. I know that for sure, but when the I don't know. I almost tonight, think just, that this has to be that possible, are, right? those are the dead, God, she's like, are so dead close. You can just, relatives you just and loved ones Jonas that are trying to help us. Tape player thing isn't even, I have no clue what's going on, but. But they're not as powerful, so they have to, right like, now. speak to you through uh, sure, the radio I, I and stuff like that. Yeah, because this... I don't know how to get this clearer, or whatever. I just can't... I just can't really get this to change, or... Uh, Mom, can you... Uh. Interesting, though. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? I think so. Unless it's... Yes. Oh, it absolutely is because the light huh? is freaking out. Uh, Alex? Jonas, don't! Jonas, oh I need you! Come back! Come. <sighs> well, that doesn't bode well. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Oh, boy. I, I almost feel like he actually could be safer, though. I guess we'll find out. But but much like you said, I think that there are friend ghosts, and maybe that's them. It's really hard to distinguish, though, between friend ghost and enemy ghost in this game. Yup. Which I suppose is the nature of not being able to, like, see or interact directly with who you're dealing with. You know, the truth is, we could have left whenever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. Not in whole. Then just leave then. Why are you why are you still here? Why not move on of all of them? Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. Worse than dying the first time. I can imagine it, okay? You think contemplating annihilation makes you special? What you can imagine is a toddler's toy bag compared to facing real extinction. Don't speak to us of imagination. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. We're not going back. We won't go back. 
Child, wait your turn. Jeez. Whew. Saw the man, but not the dog. This is where we were at the beginning of the game. Yeah, I find it interesting that this is connected. I mean, we Which gotta close I guess, this, right? Oh yeah. Which I guess that means that this bomb shelter was probably not <laughs> not so good. But bomb shelters in real life are incredibly complex. You have to have like multiple layers of different material if you want to like protect from uh, atomic radiation. Yeah, there's probably like lead and shit, right? Yeah, I don't I don't remember what it is exactly. I just know that just concrete is not enough. Science of bomb shelters. Yup. So I guess the question is then, should we end the episode here, and I think maybe next episode will be the finale, or should yeah, we just no, make this a long one? Uh, we can stop it. Okay, I'm yeah, let's finish the triangle. Yeah, let's end here. Um, next time you'll next see this triangle. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that'll be the finale. Uh, I guess we still aren't totally sure, but uh, question of the day for this one. Um... I kind of want to talk about, like, who came with us in the end. But I feel like we've already talked about character relationships to death. Yeah, maybe something about, um, having the chance to go back and... Ooh, yes! No, that's a good one. So, uh, question of the day is then, how do you feel about, like, that moment just before we enter the bomb shelter? Where they're basically saying, like, hey... Once you go in here, you can't go back. This is the end of the game. Um, I, I guess, what do you think is a good way of designing those? We, we saw one version of it here where it was kind of integrated into the actual narrative and the dialogue. Um, but I think there are other ways of presenting that same thing too. That's how I'm most used to seeing it. Mm -hmm. Like, in the first Fable, he's like, if you go now, all your other missions are forfeit. Yeah, and in other games I've seen it as an actual, like, uh, like, prompt in the game, being like, once you go here, you are, you can't go back. So it's not, it's just blatant, it's not even in the narrative. Yeah. Um, so then I guess maybe how important is it for it to be that much clearer? Because having a prompt is like, you, there's no doubt. When it's integrated into the narrative, it, you know, you might not realize it. I think it's pretty it obvious. It was pretty but, obvious in this one. But you never know. You might get those players that aren't used to seeing those things, and they might not realize that's an end game kind of thing. So I guess, what what do you think is the best way to design it, and what other ways have you seen other games present that? Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for See watching, you for everyone. The <laughs>